the bells of the church steeple still ring out and the building still stands. But in these unprecedented times, the doors to the church are closed. And we've had people who are knocking on the door. Uh, many of our parishes, are, we, we've heard from our pastors, you know, folks outside of the church crying. At the Cathedral of St. Peter in Chains, there are still liturgies and masses of Holy Week, but they're live streamed for parishioners to take in at home. We will not be uh, lighting the Paschal candle. We will not be singing the Exultet and we will not be doing those initiations. Other faith leaders agreed this is a moment of innovation and creativity for the church. I am so grateful for the miracle of technology and thankful out of all times for this to happen, for it to happen now. Pastor Brian Cromer's message to his young congregation, stay connected and in community. And on the eve of Passover, Rabbi Karen Tomashow knows the absence of gathering together is deeply felt. What's more important than the physical synagogue or church is the community that is emotional, spiritual, and very tangible, even if not touched. In this Holy Week, leading up to Jesus' darkest day, government officials also calling for this to be the deadliest week yet in the coronavirus fight. It's a week these faith leaders believe the church can model the true meaning of Holy Week. He told them that mourning was coming, that lamenting was coming, but then he promises them that at some point your sorrow will turn to joy. And such an important message and an important week for many people out there. And in this story on our website, you can find the different church service times for each of those houses of worship. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5. Ashley.